Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing really fantastic, and I'm here with the latest with what is going on across the Atlantic. So over the course of a day, we have three new tropical cyclones and three named storms less than a day ago. So between yesterday morning and very early this morning. Emily, Franklin, and Gert. And it seems as though by the end of this week, there will be two more as we have our two disturbances or two invests given high chances to develop. So a lot is going on, but the main focus of this video will be Franklin as it is the more imminent concern in terms of the impacts expected and the magnitude of those impacts as well. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update and also guys many of us are keeping watch on this one such channel is wx center in so you can go ahead and check out his updates as he goes into a lot of details in regards to these systems as they develop so let's go ahead and get straight into it as we return to this satellite imagery we have our distinct tropical storm franklin over in the eastern caribbean and we have our other disturbances out there so we've got 91l that is the disturbance that is headed toward the gulf coast southern texas northeastern mexico likely to be impacted by this now this could become a tropical depression even strengthen into a tropical storm by tomorrow evening so before it moves in it could rapidly get itself together and become something i wouldn't be surprised if it does so before that because we have seen where none of these are uh, developing when they're expected to they're just going uh they're just developing so quickly franklin for example yesterday in the morning it was expected that oh by the next few days we should have a tropical depression and then last evening around 12 hours later tropical storm franklin is here and it has strengthened by the way so in terms of the intensity of 91l we have most available models expecting at least a weak tropical storm but then that intensity rapidly drops off as it makes its way in and it will be cut off from its source of fuel and energy so that is why that rapid weakening is anticipated now going on to our next systems here we're saving franklin for last but we're not going to be spending much time on these other systems here we have 92l uh located just in the vicinity of the cabo verde islands also given a 70 percent chance to develop through the next seven days so i believe this will become our next name storm and our next two names to be used for this season are Harold and Idalia. Harold and Idalia. So those are the next two names to be used and I really think that both 91 and 92L will acquire them. Now we want to go ahead and talk about what is happening with our other systems. Tropical Storm Gert. So previously known Depression 6 rapidly got itself together and actually became a tropical storm. This is a very persistent cyclone right here. Maximum winds are 40 miles per hour and it is moving westward at 9 miles per hour but it shouldn't last long and should become post-tropical later today. And then we have Tropical Storm Emily as well. Not looking like much on satellites. Let's go on to the cone forecast. Also has maximum winds of 40 miles per hour moving west northwestward at 12 miles per hour so this is rapidly approaching post tropical uh, cyclone status and is not going to be a concern for anyone now to the main treat of the video tropical storm franklin so we can see this massive storm here in the eastern caribbean and the center of it is actually not within this area but further to the west so uh, we're having all this burst of activity toward the east of the center of the system why is this not symmetric you may ask why isn't all the activity wrapping around the center of it well that is the work of the wind shear let's quickly go onto that map so this might be a bit confusing but there we have franklin in the caribbean there we have the white outline of the region and then we have these colorful lines right here so green lines indicate favorable upper level winds that's when they're not too strong to interfere with the system yellow indicates neutral meanwhile red means unfavorable that is when they're strong in the upper atmosphere now what does this do these winds are coming in from the opposite direction and as all these thunderstorms develop and grow within Franklin, what is happening is that they are displacing them toward the east. So we find that the western side of the system is kind of vacant of activity. So that is what we see happening right now with Franklin. 
as the system moves over the island though it will weaken and become a bit disheveled so let's go on to the cone forecast and here we can see that we've got some areas highlighted in yellow and blue so blue is for a tropical storm warning and uh, these areas here, the southern coast of Haiti and the Dominican Republic were under a tropical storm watch which has now been upgraded to a warning and uh, a tropical storm warning is issued 36 hours prior to when landfall is expected and then a tropical storm watch is issued when uh, tropical storm conditions are possible within 48 hours so that watch will eventually be upgraded to a warning though this is going to be making its way in most of that activity will be toward the east of the center of it so we'll find that haiti doesn't experience uh as much compared to the dominican republic but uh, but regardless there could still be major flooding that is likely plus the terrain of hispaniola is going to kind of help to rip the system apart and weaken it a bit because it is going to disrupt the circulation as it makes its way through so we're going to see some weakening of this that's pretty likely and the system could have a much more disheveled appearance as we head into tomorrow when is landfall when is this coming in that is likely as we head into tomorrow evening or tomorrow night so going into the nighttime hours that that is when the worst impacts will likely be felt across parts of Hispaniola. As of right now though, uh, tropical storm watches are not in place for Puerto Rico even though that heavy rainfall is expected which can trigger flooding there as well. Reason for no tropical storm warning is those tropical storm winds are not expected in Puerto Rico but the rainfall is going to be a problem and overall with these systems it is the water that is the issue and for coastal areas there could also be inundation of one to three feet so that storm surge the winds pushing the water on shore and resulting in coastal flooding so that is expected of franklin eventually as it makes its way back out into the open waters of the atlantic it might make its way into conducive conditions thus strengthening and becoming a hurricane by the end of the week now what are the odds of franklin actually becoming a hurricane before making landfall in hispaniola i would say it is not impossible however let's look at this dry air map here and we can see that there's a bit of dry air ahead of it nothing too crazy but there is some dry air out uh, in the vicinity of uh, Hispaniola so once that dry air gets into the system that will kind of help to disrupt it as well maybe not too much and there is also that wind shear which is currently taking its toll which is quite evident the system is not symmetrical so uh, I really think that this won't strengthen a whole lot as I said once it moves back out into the open waters of the Atlantic once it uh, encounters conducive conditions then it could in fact it could indeed strengthen into a hurricane out there but uh, as of right now landfall in Hispaniola, uh, the Dominican Republic could be with winds of around 60 or 65 miles per hour. So, so much is happening guys and I'm here to keep you posted. And by the way, models are sniffing at something else potentially developing coming from the Caribbean, maybe going up into the Gulf and another tropical wave behind 92L may be making its way off the coast of Africa. So those will be our next two areas to watch, but I'm focusing on what is imminent right now. There is already so much going on and those are for the long term and so i'll be keeping you guys posted though and in terms of franklin if you're to be affected if you're under a tropical storm watch or warning please do not take it lightly this is going to be bringing those life-threatening conditions the flooding the mudslides so please uh take the necessary precautions please stay safe and please protect your pets as well we don't want anything to happen to our pets and stay tuned for my update this evening so that is pretty much it for right now and i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond once i get the chance to and as always remember to be otherwise